Hello, Wes Bryan here, edutainer at IT Pro TV. And in this episode of How to Get Started in IT, I want to show you how to get the right information out of forums. When you're getting started, where to start, it can be a little overwhelming. So I'm here to help you sort through an endless sea of information. The first thing you want to do is go in with a sense of purpose. Know what information it is that you're looking for. Are you new to technology? Are you trying to fill in knowledge gaps? Or are you just seeking expert advice? This is gonna tell you which forum is right for you. Some of my favorites are, well, if you're studying Microsoft technologies, you can try out TechNet and the social.technet blog. These are a great couple of locations that you can get information on just about any Microsoft technology on the market. And the social blog is a great way for your fellow IT workers who are also in the trenches to communicate their perspective, not the vendors. And that's very valuable. Are you studying Cisco technologies? Well, you might try out the Cisco Community Forum. This is a great place that you can find information on Cisco-related technologies, networking communication topics. You can ask or answer questions, and they have more than 850,000 active discussions as we speak. Maybe you are currently studying VMware technologies. Well, you can also check out the VMware Community Forum, too. This is a massive repository of support and information, and it can springboard into a lot of other things, like news and events and VMware blogs and much more. Let me tell you about my favorite forum. Are you taking IT Pro TV courses? Well, you might want to check out the IT Pro TV forums because this is a way educators such as myself can help support you in your training. Once you've found out what your go-to forum is, it's time to narrow your search. You can refine your search by using keywords, such as you'll get better results searching for Windows 10 rather than just searching for Windows. Or instead of searching for a Cisco switch, Search for a Catalyst 3850. If you're searching for ESXi, try searching for ESXi 6.5. Remember, be specific. Now, not all the information that you find is reliable. While anyone can participate, not everything is a contribution. Vendors and reference resources, they're typically trustworthy. But any other information that you find, take with a grain of salt. Now you found your information, what do you do with it? Let me tell you about one of the greatest limitations to forums today. It's what I call here today, gone tomorrow. And no, it's not a magic trick. Keep in mind that information that you find on a forum can disappear overnight. One of my recommendations is to create a digital archive. I use bookmarks or create a bit, bit.ly account in which I can group all of those resource links together. Another method that I use is to save or print the website to a PDF. And last but not least, probably one of the most important things is creating a personal blog. As your blog grows, this can become a blueprint or a roadmap to your experience. Now, one final recommendation. Most of these forums are surrounded by flashy content. We've all seen the clickbait. Don't get distracted. Ooh. Like maybe searching for your favorite metal band and ending up in a Martha Stewart cooking recipe. So let's review. Forums are a great place to get the information you need. Whether you're new to technology, filling in knowledge gaps, or seeking expert advice. But for the best results, you want to go to the right forums, refine your search, and always use trusted sources. And save your work. And remember to subscribe below. And hey, what are your favorite forums? Leave them in the comments, because we'd like to hear from you.